objects are in motion relative to other objects that might also be in motion relative to yet other objects. There is relative motion between these cars and trucks and the airplane. If you drive at 40 miles per hour and another car passes you at 2 miles per hour, then you know that that person is driving 42 miles per hour relative to the ground. We add one dimensional velocities just as easily as we add positive and negative numbers. When adding two dimensional velocities, we separately combine the x portions and then the y portions. For example, in the horizontal direction, the green airplane is moving 10 meters per second faster than the blue airplane. And in the vertical direction, the green airplane is moving 20 meters per second faster than the blue airplane. The difference in horizontal speeds is 10 meters per second, and the difference in vertical speeds is 20 meters per second. We add velocity vectors by adding components. We add velocity vectors, for example, when we know the velocity of this car relative to the ground, and we know the velocity of this airplane relative to the moving car, we can determine the velocity of the airplane relative to the ground. The Earth, Moon, and Sun are in motion relative to each other as they orbit the galaxy. The velocity of this rising plane A relative to the ground is ADI plus 8J meters per second. The velocity of plane B relative to plane A is minus 170I plus 7J meters per second. What is the velocity of airplane B relative to the ground? When adding velocity vectors, we will arrange pseudo subscripts that could cancel like units. For example, in this product, B divided by ground equals B divided by A times A divided by ground. We could cancel out A and have B divided by ground on both sides of the equal sign. With pseudo subscripts, pronounce this velocity addition equation as the velocity of B with respect to ground equals the velocity of B with respect to A plus the velocity of A with respect to ground. We have the velocity of A with respect to the ground is 80i hat plus 8j hat meters per second, and the velocity of plane B with respect to plane A is minus 170i hat plus 7j hat meters per second. So the velocity vector addition becomes minus 170i hat plus 7j plus 80i plus 8j equals minus 90i plus 15j meters per second. Suppose that you are driving at 10 meters per second in the positive x direction and the oncoming car is driving at 10 meters per second in your negative x direction. From your point of view, you are standing still and the other car is driving at 20 meters per second in your negative x direction. From the point of view of the other car, that person is sitting still and instead you are driving at a velocity of plus 20 meters per second. Since the velocity of B relative to A is the negative of the velocity of A relative to B, we can invert the pseudo subscripts by negating the velocity. The velocity of train A relative to the ground is 8 meters per second to the left. The velocity of train B relative to the ground is 7 meters per second. What is the velocity of train A relative to train B? We have 
The velocity of A relative to the ground is 8 meters per second, and the velocity of B relative to the ground is 7 meters per second. With soidal subscripts, pronounce this velocity addition equation as the velocity of A with respect to B equals the velocity of A with respect to the ground plus the velocity of ground with respect to B because we could sort of cancel the ground over ground here. But we know the velocity of B with respect to the ground instead of the inverse, the velocity of the ground with respect to B. We flip this subscript by negating the velocity. Now we have the velocity of A with respect to the ground minus the velocity of B with respect to the ground is 8 meters per second minus 7 meters per second makes 1 meter per second. River and ocean currents move in one direction and boats try to move in another direction across the water. This gives us a chance to add velocity vectors. Here are the two banks of a river. The velocity of the water with respect to ground is 5 meters per second. A boat is moving in the water. The velocity of the boat relative to the water is 5 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees relative to the direction of current flow. From the point of view of a person standing on the river bank, what is the velocity of the boat relative to the ground? Relative to the water, the boat is moving at 5 meters per second, which is 2.5 meters per second horizontally, plus 4.3 meters per second vertically. Relative to the ground, we combine separately the vertical speed, 4.3 meters per second, and the horizontal speeds of the river and the boat. 5 plus 2.5 equals 7.5 meters per second. This velocity vector makes an angle theta with the positive x-axis and has y component v sine theta and x component v cosine theta. Here are the components of a velocity. So the velocity of the boat with respect to the water is 5 cosine 60 i hat plus 5 sine 60 j hat makes 2.5 meters per second i hat plus 4.3 meters per second j hat. We want the velocity of the boat relative to the ground equals the velocity of the boat relative to the water plus the velocity of the water relative to the ground because then the soil product of waters would cancel. We have 2.5 i hat plus 4.3 j hat added to 5 i hat so we get 7.5 i hat plus 4.3 j hat meters per second. We see that the x component of the boat and water's velocities have combined. The magnitude of this vector is found from the Pythagorean theorem to be the square root of 7.5 squared plus 4.3 squared, which makes 8.6 meters per second. And it makes an angle tan inverse v sub y over v sub x. And we get 30 degrees with respect to the positive x axis. So the boat is moving in this direction relative to the ground. If the goal is for the boat to travel straight across to the opposite shore, then relative to the ground, the horizontal component of the boat's velocity must be minus 5 meters per second to cancel the horizontal component of the water's velocity, which is plus 5 meters per second. With respect to the ground, the velocity of the slow blue airplane is 250 i hat plus 70 j hat, and the velocity of the fast green airplane is 260 i hat plus 90 j hat meters per second. The velocity of the green plane with respect to the blue plane is found by first lining up the soido indices as if they could cancel ground over ground, and then negating this one to get 10 i hat plus 20 j hat meters per second. The same situation occurs when airplanes move in air that is moving relative to the ground. This gives the so-called airspeed 
and ground speed of the airplane. The driver of a fast car suddenly notices a slower car directly ahead, a distance d. The fast car has to reduce its velocity to that of the slow car within distance d, or a collision will occur. To avoid collision, the fast car must have an acceleration a equals minus v sub fast minus v sub slow squared over 2d. The velocity of this cricket bowler is 2 meters per second relative to the ground. And he throws a ball 4 meters per second relative to himself. The speed of the ball relative to the ground is 6 meters per second. By the way, fingernails grow and continents drift at the speed of about 2 centimeters per year. Suppose that you stand on a moving continent and point one finger in the direction of the continent's motion and another finger opposite its motion. With what speed do the fingernails on these two hands then move relative to a stationary observer? The answer is zero and four centimeters per year. The velocity vectors for the camera and for this person have equal magnitude but point in opposite directions. Can you express the velocity of this person relative to this person? Here is the weekend cricket in Mumbai. Tomorrow's topic is to write equations for the two-dimensional motion of the balls as they travel across the ground and rise and fall vertically due to gravity.